Hey, what's good, guys? What's good? What's good? Right now, I'm trying to custom this car. Um, I'm picking it up because it's a, it's a crank, but no start. He keeps saying that it's getting fuel, but he put gas in it. For some reason, it's not starting. So, I'm bringing it to my house. I'm telling him right now, I'm gonna bring it to my house and see if I can figure it out. About this winch, honestly, this is the best winch I've ever bought. I like this winch better than the, the winch I had before. It was the same, the same uh, weight capacity, but I like this because it doesn't. This winch doesn't get tangled up at all. Like it makes life a million times easier. And I tell people also to get the wireless remote. The wireless remote works wonders. This way, easy. They don't, they don't like about these, you don't have to see inside the car, it has a wire, it does everything for you. All right, so the car is loaded up, ready to go. I use my winch for extra protection. You know, you don't, you don't really have to, but everything else is good. Yeah, I had to put these because people usually be stunning to steal these freaking landmarks and stuff like that. But, all right, so. I forgot the vlog when I got back. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing these glasses, but I'm gonna explain that in a little bit. All right, so basically I tore the whole car apart. I had to reposition this uh, this ground, still didn't start. I cleaned up thermostat housing ground, still didn't start. Changed all the fuses in this fuse box and the fuse box under the dash, still didn't start. So now what I'm doing is, because uh, he said that he replaced the fuel pump, but this does not look like a brand new fuel pump. So, I went for him to hit me up because he said he had a um, he said he had a, a warranty for him. So I'm waiting for all his information. So I can go get the warranty. If he doesn't hit me back in like 20, 30 minutes, to go get that has the warranty for a fuel pump. I'm about to just go pay for it and then him just reimburse me the money for it. Cause I gotta get this car started, get this car out of here. I got two more cars that gotta come. I gotta do a Type S swap. I gotta do a swap on an RSX Type S that's going K Turbo. I gotta finish his Integra. Well, the Integra's mine, so it don't really matter. Um. I gotta, uh, but the, yeah, that's basically it right now. I gotta do, I'm doing a velocity stack on the Tiger. That's why I have this right now. But the problem is, I can't find the one with the freaking velocity stack. I checked Pet Boys, checked AutoZone. They don't, I mean, I checked O'Reilly's, they don't have it. And I checked AutoZone, they don't have it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep checking. Like, every time I pass by one, I'm gonna check, just pick it up. It's like 20 bucks, so I don't really care about spending money. Tomorrow's the track, but... As you can tell, it's raining. It's been raining all crazy in Houston right now, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to even make it to the track tomorrow, just because it's raining. So if it's raining, hope. Honestly, I really do hope it's raining because by at least next week, this should at least have a chip ECU, the step down harness, a new shifter, the velocity stack will be installed by then. I wouldn't really, I mean, I, I care because I really want to go to the track just to run again, but if not, then hopefully next week I can find another track to take the car to. I don't really care about driving because I have a trailer. All right. As you guys can see, I had to tear this whole thing apart to figure out the problem. Let's see if it starts now. All right, so car's done. The problem was it wasn't getting fuel. So I changed the fuel pump, changed the fuel pump, the fuel pump kept on. Try to start it, it wasn't starting. So I'm like, all right, cool, do something else. Whenever you're dying, that's... Uh, anyway, like I was saying, whenever you're um, doing something like this, a car comes in, uh, crank but no start. You always wanna start with the, with the two main things. You see the spark or fuel. It's one of those two. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it could be the ECU. Sometimes it could be the main relay. I clicked it over. The main relay kicked on. So I'm like, all right, cool. It's not the main relay. Um, sat in the car. Sat down. The fuel pump wasn't kicking on. The guy said he replaced the fuel pump. The fuel pump wasn't replaced. The fuel pump was actually rusted to gods. So I replaced the fuel pump. Fuel pump kicked on. Check the fuel filter. The fuel filter. The fuel filter. Before I, before I put the the, uh, the fuel 
pump in, the fuel filter wasn't getting any fuel. Why? Because the fuel pump was kicking on. Cool. So I did the fuel pump. The fuel filter is starting to kick on now. Cool. I was like, all right, cool. Try to start it. it wasn't starting. So I'm like, all right. Uh, let me check Spark. Spark was 100%. I went to sleep last night. I woke up. I'm like, yo, it got to be something else. It's damn fuel. It's getting Spark. It's on timing. You can tell it's on time. You can hear it. Right? So I watched a youth video on YouTube. The guy was down last night on a problem. He's like, check the spark plugs. Nine times out of ten, the spark plugs wouldn't really stop the car from starting. But if the car's been sitting down for mad long, the spark plugs have fouled out, never been changed. So cool. I took the spark plugs out. Um, I took the spark plugs out. These are what the spark plugs look like. Right? Look done up. The thing about it, my antenna's been sitting down for almost two years now. Two, two and a half years before I even purchased it. And the spark plugs were like this or probably a tad bit worse, but the car still started. So I'm like, all right, cool. It can't be the spark plugs. But what I did was I went and bought brand new spark plugs, MGKs, threw them in at first. All right, so at first, like I was saying, I put the spark plugs in, the car still didn't start. So I'm like, all right, let me keep priming it. Maybe it was not getting fuel. Again, I didn't check the fuel real because I'm like, yo, the car's getting fuel. It has to get fuel. So I'm like, all right, send them Primed it again, try to start it. A big ass flame came out the intake, uh, the intake. So I'm like, we're getting somewhere. Motor could have went, but we're getting somewhere, right? So I'm like, right. turning on, turn on, turn on, turn on. I'm sitting there for a good minute, cranking it, cranking it, cranking it. Right here, boom. Brrr. Once the start, dies out. I mean, I could be the firing runner. I changed all the firing runner. Try to start it, wasn't nothing. I put the firing runner back in order where it's supposed to be. It started, but it died out. Then I was like, nah, it's going to start next time I do it. Started right up. Started. No misfire, no nothing. Everything's been straight ever since then. I had it charging a little bit with the jump box, so it should start. Oh, never mind. Your battery is bad. I'm gonna tell you that. Your battery is bad, so you're gonna need another battery. So, cause my jump box was on it for a good like minute and a half, and it was starting up fine, but it keeps dying. So your battery is probably shot because when the car's when the car's on, it's running 100. percent You get what I'm saying? It's running, but as soon as you turn it off, it just dies out. So I think you need another battery. All right, so I just sent a customer the video of it running. To show him that it's running and you can hear the blower motor is going bad. See, this blower motor is shot. Turn it back on, you can hear it. Also, I think he has a bad belt because You can hear the chattering noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it from this side over here. All right, so like I said, the blow motor shot. I got the AC running right now. The AC cold, man. This it shit it feel lovely. His gauges don't work. His gas gauge don't work because in the car, there's more than like a full tank in here right now. You get what I'm saying? It looks kind of cloudy because I'm in the wide open view. You see? And if I put it to the regular view, it's a bit better, but it's all right. All right, so the car's starting. It's running. You hear No rough auto, no nothing. It's running good. As you can see. It's not a rough or nothing, bro. I miss fire, no nothing. Car came in, crank, no start. Changed the fuel, uh, was fuel pump. The fuel pump was um, was not kicking on. I changed all the fuses, changed everything. Uh, still didn't kick on, so last thing I did, changed the fuel pump, fuel pump kicked on. Then came to another problem, that the fuel pump wasn't, um, the fuel pump, everything was running. I checked the fuel filter, the fuel filter was getting fuel. And then after that, still wasn't starting, still wasn't starting, still wasn't starting. Check the spark plugs. The spark plugs were shot. It was garbage. Changed the spark plugs. Kept trying to start it a few times. Started right up. Now it's running 100% perfect now. I was going back to the customer, running and driving. Yeah, I want to thank you guys for looking at another video. I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe. Please, I'm at 100 subscribers now. I know I was at zero. Even though 100 is really not a lot, but I saw 100 people subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. All the people who got post notifications on, all that, turn them on. You know, I'm going to be dropping videos, like, really. 
back to 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 back like all crazy. So there's gonna be a lot more stuff. It's not only gonna be car stuff. I'm gonna do car stuff right now because most jobs coming in. Um, but yeah, like I said, bro. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please, 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 please. I need that. I need that. But um, yeah, this car's done. Um, this is waiting for the customer. Come pick up the car now.